As the war in Ukraine rages on, Visa and MasterCard have decided to suspend Russian operations. This is big, guys. But just how big is it? And what are the alternatives? Anyway, here it is, guys. It was in the Wall Street Journal, and their options are, of course, the ones they have left are American Express and Union Pay. And of course, they got good old Alipay. That's right. Both of these are Chinese companies, and China pretty much owns them right now. So they're losing Visa. Union Pay is twice as big or is as big as uh, MasterCard and Visa, but um, they're pretty much in big trouble right now because, as you know, their economy is ready to collapse and the ruble is dropping like a rock. More on that later. I'm going to show you a little bit about that. But yeah, here's the story right here, and they're halting or suspending their operations uh, in Russia because Russia's become a giant black hole over there. Um, the economy is going to collapse. The stock market is closed. They're in serious, serious trouble right now. And this is all playing into China's hands. China is going to be the one uh, winning in this situation. So let's talk about how big it is. Among the debit and credit cards issued in Russia, Visa and MasterCard accounted for 74% of the payments. That is huge, guys. That is really, really, really huge. That's so big. Another reason why Visa and MasterCard may want to get out is because of this check out the root rock and it could probably even go even further going to be a worthless currency anyway guys what tell me what you think about this and is it really as bad as they say it is